This is all you need to charge a Tesla Model 3. One kilowatt. This is like four miles per hour. With the battery banks, I have River 600. River Pro, a medium size, and the large size. Delta, 1300. This is what happens when you plug in the Tesla charger directly. So you power on, the charger would blink red. I think the, there will be a red light, yes. Indicating there is a arrow or no ground. So, we would have to plug in a power strip. It shows protected and the grounded is not lighted. With this plug, enables the grounded. Okay, now we plug in the Tesla charger then it shows all green we're at 60 96 percent now this is the full setup here Everything is connected nicely. Let me grab my charger. And by the way, I do have a NEMA 1450 uh, on the wall that would take in this plug, right? But I'm using the 120 watts charger. And let me go charge. Plugged in. Okay, charging started. 1,400 watts. And the fan kicked in. Fifteen hours, five minutes. According to the dashboard here, we're charging at twelve amps. Everything looks normal at fifty six percent. It will last me 47 minutes. Perhaps we'll add a, couple, a few miles range, maybe four or five miles. So in the future, a more interesting test would be adding a few solar panels uh, to offset the charging uh, energy from this panel, from this um, port. I have 110 watts and 160 watts panels. Okay, next test. Let me try the Pro as well as the little version, 220, 288 watt hour and 580 watt hour. Now all I need to do is to grab this power strip and transfer it over here. 
This is the Reaver medium size, Reaver Pro. Okay, power on. Okay, Tesla charger lighted. I think it will do maybe 600 watts. Right. I think the circuit is checking. Well, will it be able to do it? The charging port is blinking. And the power consumption dropped back to 6 watts. Interesting. I don't think this one would be able to charge the Tesla then. Okay. Climbed all the way up to around 600 and dropped back to 6 watts. Although the charger shows blinking. Um, looks like it is doing something. This won't be able to handle the charging port. Yeah, it turned red. See, that's red. Showed red. Okay, I think this size is not sufficient. Since we are here, and of course, let's test this. The smaller one, let me power on. See if it works. I'm gonna go unplug the charging port and reconnect. The same result. I think th these are showing the exact behavior. 600 watts and then drop back to, okay, these are really similar, just the, a different capacity. Uh, yeah, it doubles the almost doubles the capacity of the smaller um, Reverse 600. That's the Pro. But if you want to charge your car, and the largest power bank, of course, makes sense. That is uh, expected, I guess. You cannot produce gasoline at home, but hey, using a solar panel with that thing and charge the car is totally doable okay but these char uh, little banks are really meant for smaller appliances let me try this again And the charger needs to be reconnected, of course. Okay. It is doing something. Four, 14 hours, five minutes, 15 hours, five minutes. We're at 57%. 57 percent 89 percent we started from 96 this kind of power tour is insane 1.4 kilowatt All right, I guess that is the end of this test. Um, okay, another test I could potentially do is to recharge this to 100%, um, fully deplete the battery, but that really damaged my battery. Uh, I'm kind of reluctant to, that, to do that kind of test, really, and see how many miles added to the car, because I can totally change the 
display from percentage to uh, miles display. Actually, let me do that. It's under the settings, display and distance to be miles and energy, energy display is gonna be distance. So this is energy 57%. If I do distance, it changes to 137 miles. Yeah, if I, if I keep doing this, um, I can calculate how many miles being added to the car. This is like four miles per hour. Then if that battery lasts me one hour of charging at this rate, then I think it's safe to say, hey, that battery will add four miles to the car. Okay, thanks for watching.